So in this example, we are interested in finding the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors for the following matrix there. Okay. So to find these eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we, we start with this equation that you see in the box here. Okay. So here, okay, we have AX equals lambda X. So A is the matrix, X is the vector, and, and this eigenvalue, okay, that is lambda. Okay. So what we can do here is we can, we want to solve the system. So in other words, we want to come up with a solution, uh, particularly a non-trivial solution. So we don't, we're not interested in having x equal to zero. Okay. So we can do this by start, we can start by setting this equal to zero. Okay. So that's going to give us ax minus lambda x equals to zero. And that'll be a zero vector. Okay. So now we can go ahead and factor, okay, factor out the x. So we're going to get a minus lambda i times x. The reason why we put i here is so that uh, we want to preserve this subtraction. Okay, so a, let's say for example, like in this in this case, a is two by two. So we need to put an i needs to be a two by two here, and lambda is just a scalar. Okay, so this is a valid operation. Okay. All right. So then from here, okay. So if we think about this equation and the determinant, okay. This so a minus lambda i, right, is is a matrix. Okay. All right. So if we're interested in finding the non-trivial solution, then we want to, then that implies that the determinant of a minus lambda i must be equal to zero, okay? Because we want the not, we want the non-trivial solution, okay? All right. So, okay, so we're interested in finding, we want the non-trivial solution. Okay, so that means, okay, that, okay, so we don't want x, we don't, we're not interested in x equals zero, okay? So that means, if that's the case, okay, so remember, going back to the earlier theorems, the earlier concepts that we talked about, so if, so we basically have a homogeneous system here, okay? So recall that if the only solution is zero, okay, that means the determinant, of a minus lambda i must be must not be zero. Okay. All right. So in other words, we want in order to satisfy this to get the non-trivial solution, we want the determinant of a minus lambda i to be equal to zero. Okay. And so that gives us an infinite. Uh, that will give us infinite solutions. Okay. All right. Okay. So then, so we want. So this implies actually that the determinant, okay? So we know x equals zero is a solution, okay? But we're interested in the others, okay? Other solutions besides the zero vector. So that's why we need this requirement, okay? So this is gonna be the uh, foundation of how we're going to find the eigenvalues and, and corresponding eigenvectors, okay? So we're gonna start with this, okay? So let's go over here, okay? So we're going to take A, and so we're gonna have A minus lambda times I, okay? So A minus lambda, and since A is two by two, then we need a, the identity matrix needs to be two by two. So this is going to be one, six, five, two, minus, and we need the lambda there. So one zero zero one. Okay. So this is going to give us okay one minus lambda. And then we have uh, six five and then two minus lambda. Okay. 
right? So now let's go ahead and find the determinant, okay? Okay, so this is going to be 1 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda minus 30, okay? And so going back to our equation, right, we want to find, we want to f solve for lambda that makes this 0, okay? So we're going to set this equal to 0, okay? All right, so we're going to get uh, 2. Okay, so we end up getting 2 minus 3 lambda plus lambda squared, okay, minus 30. Okay, so this basically is going to give us lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 28, okay? So now we can solve this, okay? This is factorable. So we get lambda minus 7 times lambda plus 4, okay? All right, so this gives us, okay, so this is going to give us lambda equals to 7 and lambda equals to negative 4. So those are our eigenvalues, okay? So now we can use these to find the corresponding eigenvectors, okay? All right. Okay, so these are our eigenvalues, okay? All right, so let's start with uh, lambda equals seven. Okay, so so we want to find the eigenvector for lambda equals to seven. Okay, so we go back up here. Okay, and substitute in seven. Okay, and then we want to find the null space. Okay, of that system of this system. Okay, all right. Meaning that we have the homogeneous system here. Okay, so we want to find the null space of that. Okay, so let's substitute those. Okay, we get one minus. So we get one minus seven, six, five, and two minus seven. Okay, so. This is going to give us negative 6, 6, 5, and 5, uh, negative 5. Okay. All right, so there's our, we have a, we have our homogeneous system, okay? All right. So now we're going to find, okay, the null space, okay? So we need to find the null space. Okay, and so I, I talk about finding the null space in another video. Okay, so that's a topic that uh, that we've already discussed. Okay, so okay, so doing okay, so we're going to do an REF on this. Okay, so that's going to bring us to minus one, one, zero, zero. Okay, then from here, uh, we can go ahead and s solve this. So we're going to let, so let's say x1 and x2 are variables. Okay, so we have x2 is going to be, we're going to let x2 be a variable, t, where t is some real number. So that means x1 has to be equal to t. So therefore, this is going to give us t, okay, and then 1, 1. Okay. So again, this is coming from, right, we, for x1, we had t. 
x2 we have t so this can be written in parametric form okay so this value here okay that vector okay is is the eigenvector for lambda equal to 7 okay all right so basically so this is the eigenvector and this is actually the basis eigenvector okay all right so that means we have right so this basically this uh, so we have a multiple of one one so that's so that means that the eigen so all the eigenvectors for lambda equals seven lie in the span of this vector one one okay so we call this this is also called the eigen basis okay or I, sometimes we call it eigenspan, okay? Okay. In some books they use eigenspan, some books they use uh, eigenbasis, okay? All right, so now that's the value, f so that's the eigenvector, okay? So this is one, one is the basis for, is the eigenvector, okay, that we're looking for. It's the, it's the basis for the eigenvector space. Okay, now we're going to look for the eigenvector for lambda neg for lambda equals to negative four. For lambda equals to negative four okay all right so so again okay we're going to substitute negative four back into uh, up into this matrix okay so we're going to get one minus so we get one minus negative four Okay. And then we have let's see six five and then two minus negative four. All right, so this is going to and we want to okay, so we want to solve for the corresponding homogeneous system. Okay, so this is going to give us 5, 6, 5, and then 6. Okay. So doing the REF on this. Okay, we're going to get 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So now, okay, we're going to let x2, okay, so we have one f uh, one free variable right so we're going to have we're going to let x2 be equal to t again where t is a real value and x1 is going to be in this case equal to minus x2 which is minus t so that means for our solution okay so our solution is in this form so we have x1 x2 so that means we're going to get minus t and then t, okay? And this can be written as t times uh, minus one one, okay? So again, this is so right. This is the eigenvector for or corresponding to lambda equals to negative four. Okay, so we found, okay, so we found our, we found our eigenvalues. For seven, it was the eigen, corresponding eigenvector was one, one. And for eigenvalue of negative four, the corresponding eigenvector was minus one, one. Okay. All right.